and we are back for game four of the Rock the Island Alumni Tournament. Herbert Hoover Huskies versus the Chapmanville Tigers. Winner of this will play game two tomorrow at 2-15 versus the Mingo Central Miners. As the game gets underway, tip one by the Huskies. And Eli Robertson will bring it down. Yeah, first, Top of the, the, first thing I noticed here, Kyle, was the size of, of Hoover compared to uh, Chapmanville. A lot of size on the Hoover team. A smaller Chapmanville lineup as the jump shot up and in from Grant Bonner. As we see Chapmanville bring it down. Shoal over to Philip Mullins. Philip Mullins over to Saldine. Saldine back to Shoal. Back to Dean. Dean takes a deep three off the mark. Rebound by the Huskies. A lot of experience for the Chapmanville squad. I think there's I know at least Hello. four state champions out there. There could be five. I'm not sure if uh, 23 got one or not. But a big team here for the Huskies. Well, no doubt. Chase King with a big rebound on defense. A pull-up jump shot from Eli Robertson off the mark. Rebound tipped out. It will be Huskies ball. And the inbound will come from Josh Stricker. Stricker inbounds to Evan Booth. Evan Booth swings it over. To Bonner. Bonner to a corner three. 17 Steakhouse three from Eli Robertson. He's got all five for him. Two quick, two quick shots. As the Huskies take a five point lead, 5 0 to start this off. Philip Mullins swings it over to Dean. Down low to Devin Collins. Jump shot is off the mark. Rebound by King. Yeah, he just left that one short just a little bit. And I think we're going to hear King for rebounds a lot during this game. Yeah, yeah. I would look for her, uh, Hoover to control the board in this one. As Bonner swings it over to Stricker. Stricker swings it over, but tipped out by Chapmanville. A steal by Brandon Elkins. Brandon Elkins drives off the mark. And a foul on the Tigers. Yeah, just going for the ball there in the front over top of him. He had Saldin in the corner there. I thought he was going there. But a tough take by the Tigers. As Eli Robertson brings it up. little flash there between the legs. Kicks it over to Stricker. Stricker. Brings it to the top, back to Robertson. Robertson in the ISO. Guarded by Shaw. Back over to Stricker. Back over to Robertson. Robertson back to Stricker. Cross court pass to Grant Bonner. Grant Bonner for three is up and no good. Rebound by Saldine. And now Saldine. I'm, Bill, I'm trying to push this ball. Definitely trying to push. Trying to run Got to try to beat the big man down the court. Saldine fakes the shot. Swings it over to Collins. Collins into the corner for Andrew Shaw. Off the mark. Rebound tipped around and grabbed by Cody Morris. Yeah, Chapman Mills probably not get too many second chance uh, opportunities. Every basket counts for the Tigers for sure with a bigger Huskies team as we see a skip pass from Bonner cross court over to Robertson. Robertson with a deep 317 steakhouse three. Does he have all eight? He has all eight. Great he's, start for Robertson. He's he is, feeling that early. He is a great player. As we see the ball in the corner for the Tigers from Mullins back to Dean. Dean over to Shaw. Back to Dean. Dean for a Three, just rims out. Rebound by Mullins. Mullins kicks it out to Shaw. Shaw saves it. Long pass throughout to the other side of the court for Robertson with a pull-up just off the mark. Rebound by Stricker. Stricker pump fakes. Kicks it back out. Robertson saves it before it goes out of bounds. Back up top to Morris. And Morris will hold this one for a moment as the team tries to get reset up. Dean trying to pressure him. Morris with a pull-up blocked. Looked like a pass tipped out. Mullins. I, yeah, I think he was trying to pass that one. Mullins will bring this one up right side. Devin Collins on the corner. Collins snatches back and throws a lob pass to the top of the key for Brandon Elkins. A banked in 317 stakeouts three for Elkins. The bank is open. The bank is not right open anywhere else. Weekend. But in the Willie Akers Arena tonight and tomorrow for the Rock the Island Alumni Tournament, we see Eli Robertson at the top of the key, guarded by Dean. Screen comes from Morris. Robertson snatches back, back to Morris at the top of the key. Down low to Bonner. Bonner back to Robertson in the corner. Robertson drives baseline. Kicks out to Stricker. Back to Morris. Morris down low pass to King. King will pump fake. Go back up, and that will be a 10-3 lead for the Herbert Hoover Huskies. Man, Hoover is working here early. Um, and Sal Dean answers back with a deep 317 Steakhouse 3. Very deep. They needed that one. Hoover's moving the ball well. They're moving the ball really well. And you can see a lot of these guys have played together in the past. A really well-balanced team. A lot of size. We'll see Stricker hold it at the top with a potential screen. Nope, comes back out, kicks it over to Bonner. Bonner almost loses it, saves it, but it's in the hands of Andrew Scholl. Scholl will push this down the middle of the court, crossing half over to Collins. Collins will pump fake, 
Drive, take it to the basket. Stuck down low on the baseline, but he will reset in the corner. Kicks it back out to Dean. Dean over to Shaw. Shaw pump fakes. Kicks over to Elkins, and Elkins will put this up off the mark. Rebound over the back on Devin Collins, and this will be Husky's ball. And I've just been informed, sorry for those watching at home, we are having a few scoreboard difficulties here with the Mountain Dreams media live stream. But we will get that fixed as soon as possible as Grant Bonner brings the ball up the floor. He will walk it up. Morris in the high post. Bonner keeps it, drives, tipped out, pass to Robertson for a three off the mark, rebounded by Kyle Browning. As Shaw will jog this one up. Cross-court pass to Saldine. Saldine will work it out, drive in. Tough layup from Saldine. Man, talk about tough and acrobatic. Saldine, a nice layup right there. One thing about that kid is for sure, he is creative with the ball. Oh, yeah, he, you love to see him with the ball in his hands. As Robertson kicks it over to Bonner. Bonner on the wing, kicks down to Stricker. Stricker will kick it back out to Bonner. Bonner swings it to Robertson. Robertson over to Morris. And Morris, double-teamed on the wing, will take a pull-up three just off the mark. Rebound tip back out to Morris. Morris swings a cross-court pass to Bonner for a corner three, 17. Stay couch three. You can sense the chemistry on this Hoover team. You can tell they've played together before. This is definitely the best ball movement from a team we have seen so far as Saldine snatches back for a three just off the mark. And we will see Morris walk this one up. Still no subs yet other than Browning checking in for the Wildcats, but we have some subs on the sideline getting ready to check in. King in the high post. King down low, kicks it back out to the corner to Stricker. Stricker will take a three just off the backboard in the hands of Browning. Saldine will draw this one up. Lob pass over to, Br or to Collins in the corner. Excuse me. Collins steps back for a three. 17 steakhouse three. Yeah, he's got a pretty shot. They don't want to let him get going. You know, there's a lot of players on this chat team that can get going and really hurt you. Collins transferred from Marshall to Pikeville and then reinstated at Glenville State, if I'm not mistaken. I think so, yeah. As Hoover comes down to the post, Morris kicks it back out to Bonner. Bonner drives, fakes the pull up, over to Morris for a three. He fakes it to Robertson in the corner. Robertson snatches back, back a cross-court pass to Bonner for a 3-17 steakhouse three. These boys can shoot. And the chemistry, like you said, this is definitely the best ball movement we've seen from a team. They're moving it really well out there. You know, I mean, they can't understate it. Didn't get to see much of Logan's ball movement. <laughs> so many fast breaks during that game. Yeah, they, they run a lot of transition, but, you know, Hoover a lot of low is moving post. it really well. As Brandon Elkins for the Tigers takes a pull-up <laughs> mid-range jump shot from the left elbow. You know, Chapman was only down three. Feels like a lot more, but it's just a three-point game. It's the style of basketball we're seeing from these Huskies, man. They are moving that rock. Keeping it going, but Chapman has not died down. One thing about this thing from Chapman, they can definitely shoot the ball well as Morris takes it inside, hooks it off the backboard, up by five. And we will have a timeout from the Chapmanville Tigers. 18 to 13 is the score with a minute left to go in the first of game four. Tune back in shortly as we take a commercial break here on Mountain Dreams Media. You are watching the Rock the Alumni, or Rock the Island, excuse me, tournament. Stay tuned. And we are back for the final minute of quarter one here in game four as Devin Collins inbounds to Shoal. Andrew Shoal will walk it up, kick it over to Saldine. Saldine fakes the pass to the corner and resets, gives it to Shoal. Shoal will drive in, fake the pass, and a pull-up jump shot off the front of the rim from Shoal. I believe that's his first shot at him tonight. It is, and we have a new face in for the Huskies. Matt Justice, as Matt Justice gives it back up to Robertson. Robertson on the right wing. Screen from Morris. He drives into the mid-range. Pull-up jump shot from Robertson. Bounces around but drops in. And Man, he he's got a good on, touch. He has been on fire tonight in this first yep. quarter. Ten points for Robertson so far. As Sal Dean will try to work out on Justice. Good move by Dean. Kicks to the corner. Shot fake from Browning. Dean over to Collins. Collins with a deep three off the mark. Rebound by Justice. Justice will throw it to Morris. Morris up to Robertson with a three at the buzzer. Just comes short. And with that being said, we will take another break as the quarter ends. Coming into the second quarter, the Huskies lead 20-13 to 13 on the Tigers. You are watching the Rock the Island Alumni Tournament on Mountain Dreams Media. Stay tuned. 
And we are back for the second quarter of game four. Shoal over to Browning. Browning over to Shoal. Over to Dean. Dean on the left side wing. Gives it back up to Shoal at the top of the key. Swing pass over to Browning for a 317 Steakhouse three. He can shoot it as well. I remember him shooting it in high school when uh, Chapman won a couple state championships. Yeah, and for sure, a great defensive player as well. As Dean is guarding Robertson at the top of the key. Robertson over to Morris. Morris will take it down, kick it over to Justice. Justice shot fakes, jabs, shot fakes again, gives it up, and is back to him for a corner three off the rim. Rebound by the Huskies. Over to Robertson. Robertson with a fadeaway pull-up three, just bounces out. Rebound grabbed by the Tigers. And the Tigers will push the pace. Devin Collins right down the middle of the lane. Floater is up. No good. Rebound. Tipped out and in. Grabbed back by Collins. Out to Saldine. Saldine will fake a three. Jab step. Step back. Give it up to the corner. Deep one here for by Isaiah Sal. Smith. And Saldine is off the mark from deep. As Robertson brings it up the right side of the court. He will slow things down here for a moment. And Morris at the top of the key with a pull-up jump shot. No good. Rims out. Rebound by Collins. And they're pushing again here with uh, looks like Isaiah Smith back to Collins. Beautiful layup by Devin Collins. And a two from Collins will put this lead by two for the Huskies. Robertson will bring it down. Left side court. Walk it up. A screen coming by Morris. He fakes the screen. Drives all the way in. Robertson with a tough layup just off the mark. Browning with the rebound. Show will push this up the right side on a break. In transition, back to Dean. Dean will fake the three, sidestep, and pull up for a 317 Steakhouse three. And they don't need to let him get going. They do not, as he has hit quite a few so far, and the Tigers take their first lead of the game, 21-20, and a timeout from the Huskies. We will be right back on Mountain Dreams Media for the Rock the Island Alumni Tournament. Stay tuned. And we are back in the second quarter of game four here, Huskies versus the Tigers, and the Tigers have just taken their first lead of the game, 21-20. Cody Morris will walk this one up for the Huskies. As we see Wesley Burry pop out for a corner three, but passes it back to Morris, and Morris will pull this one up from deep, off the rim, and a foul on yeah, Eli yeah. Robertson, pushing in the back on Scholl. Yeah, he pushed Scholl in the back when Scholl was going up for that rebound. It was a good call. Definitely was. We'll see Dean inbound here to Scholl. Scholl will jog this one up, followed by Dean. Back to Dean. Back to Scholl. Scholl fakes, gives it up to Browning in the corner, and we will see a mm. three just rims in. out from Browning. In and out. And a rebound from Burry. We will see Justice walk this one up the court. Another check-in for the Huskies with Evan Booth. Drive by Justice off the mark. Rebound by Burry. Pump fakes, and he is fouled. By a number of Tigers. I'm not sure which one they're going to call it on, but there was uh, Sal and uh, Dev Collins was there as well. Definitely. And we will see Tucker Dalton getting ready to check in for the Tigers. With Burry at the line, he will shoot two. The first one is up and rims out for Burry. As we see Tucker check in for Sal Dean. No subs from the Hoovers, the Huskies. As Burry's second is up, it is good. And we have a tie ball game here in the Willie Acres Arena. Kyle Browning will bring this one up. It's been a good game so far, Kyle. Very impressed with how this game pans out. I knew Hus the Huskies, I knew Chapmanville was a great team, yeah. but I knew the Huskies were going to come with some fire here. Great team over there, too, as Browning takes another three, air balls it, rebound by Burry, passed out to the outlet for Robertson. And Robertson will slow this thing down as one of his teammates get back. But he drives on Shoal, pump fakes up and in from Robertson. Really good tech. Man, he's a uh, he's a gamer, really good ball player. Oh, yeah, he has been playing great tonight as they take the lead back from the Tigers. Shoal at the top of the key. Pass fakes and pulls up just off the front of the rim. Rebound tipped out by Dalton. But Robertson walks away with it, being pressured by the Tigers. Pass over to Justice. Justice will pull a three just short. As Browning with the rebound, Tucker Dalton will jog this one up the right side of the floor. Dalton, pass fake, 
Passes it over to Browning. Browning to a corner pass for Collins. Collins will take this corner three just off the rim. Rebound by Burry. A lot of these shots that Chapman was missing, they, these players usually hit those. Yeah, a great shot from Collins. I was expecting that one to fall. Robertson, right side of the court, walking it up. Robertson drives baseline. Pushed off. Out to Burry. Burry back out to Morris. Morris looking for a Husky to give it to. Screen fakes. Gives it up to Robertson. Robertson back to Morris. Morris will take this low post on Isaiah Smith. Back to Robertson. Robertson shot fakes. Side steps back on Collins. Just off the back of the rim. Rebound by Andrew Scholl. And that was a tough shot to get off. It was. Would have been very impressive that one fell. Browning over to Scholl. Scholl pass fake. Throws it down low to Collins. And Collins is fouled on the baseline. Looks like they're calling that one on the floor. And we have a bunch of subs here. Brandon Elkins and Philip Mullins checking in for the Tigers. Chase King, Josh Stricker, and Grant Bonner checking back in for the Huskies. As Mullins inbounds to a corner three from Shoal, just rims out. Rebound by Stricker. They caught him napping on that one. They could have capitalized on that. Definitely did. Could have went in. As Bonner walks this one up the left side. Tween, 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 triple tween from Bonner. Bonner comes off the screen from King all the way into the paint. Loses the ball, and that will be a travel on Bonner. Yeah, that's the right call. And, you know, Bonner gave some good minutes tonight. He definitely has, and he's played hard so far as well. As Elkins inbounds to Mullins. Mullins will walk this one up. And we're seeing a... 3-2 3-2 being played by the Huskies. Great ball move from the Tigers. Pass from Mullins down to Elkins for a turnaround fadeaway and a mid-range jump shot is good in the paint yeah, for the Tigers. Good movement there by the Tigers to get that mid-range jump shot. And I'm saying it now, Wooz, I think this game may come all the way down to the wire with these two teams playing the way they are. Yeah, these are two really good teams. We knew this was going to be a good matchup, but they are very uh, evenly matched so far. And no foul call there as the Huskies try to attack. It is back out in the hands of Eli Robertson. The top guarder by Tucker Dalton. Tucker Dalton swings it over to, or no, sorry, Robertson swings it over to the corner of Stricker. Stricker down to Chase King. Hook shot is good by Chase King. And he is a, uh, he's a really good post player. That's a few times now he's had a turnaround shot. Definitely had a very big presence in that paint as Phillip Mullins throws a cross court past the corner for Isaiah Smith. Brandon Elkins with a turnaround hook shot. No good. Rebound by Stricker. Passes it over to Robertson, and Robertson will walk this one up. Robertson down to Morris. Morris in the high post with King down there as well. Morris will reset at the top, and he will lose it out of bounds trying to get the ball to Stricker. Tell you what, the last few trips down the floor for Chapmanville, they have moved the ball a lot better than they had the rest the first, of the game. Definitely. I'm as, interested to see if that continues for the rest of the game. As we see Scholl check out of the game, and Sal Dean enters. Devin Collins will take a knee, ready to go in the game. Phillip Mullins at the top of the key. Swings it over cross-court past the corner for Dalton. Tucker Dalton will take a corner three just off the back of the rim. Rebound by Bonner. And Bonner looking for a man down court. He will take his time on this trip down. Two players playing high post here between King. A screen from King on the back door. Robertson has the ball over to Morris. Morris in the high post. He will back it out. Drop it down to Stricker in the paint with Tucker on him. No charge call. Up and a foul on Brandon Elkins. Yeah, he doesn't like that call, but it was the right one. It definitely was the right one. A lot of contact on the arm right there. He says he has ball, but it will be Stricker at the line for two. We have some commotion going on here on the stage. Lose. Yeah, someone took a tumble, but man, someone just dropped something, looks like. Seems like they got back up just fine. The first free throw is no good from Stricker, and a head nod from Elkins. Sort of a bottle line on. <laughs> I've been wondering how many times people have been thinking that this evening. <laughs> Plenty of times, I'd say. As Stricker is good on the second, and they increased their lead to three. We have Chase Berry checking in for the Tigers. Mullins, right side of the court. Swings it over to Saldin at the top. Back to Mullins. Mullins shot fakes. Back to Dean. Dean with a sidestep. Hop steps into the paint, kicks out to Barry. Barry to Mullins, back to Dean. Pump fakes the three, back to Mullins. Great ball movement from the Tigers, and the three just off the back of the rim. Grant Bonner, law pass up court, and Philip Mullins will tip that one out of bounds. 
And great ball movement there. They just could not get that one to fall. They worked hard, and, you know, that's a trip down the floor. You deserve points, and they just couldn't get one to go. Definitely. And a little confusion on who the ball was out on, but it was definitely out on the Tigers right there. Robertson will inbound to Stricker. Stricker to Bonner. Bonner down low to King. King will play the low post right here. Turn around, jump shot off the backboard. No good. Rebound by Collins, and we are in transition with the Tigers. Collins slows it down between the legs, kicks it over to Dean, and Dean pump fakes the three again, steps it back out in the corner to Barry. Barry back to Dean, pump fakes again, drives in, lob pass down to Mullins. Mullins tries to kick it back out to Elkins, but King is there to tip the pass, and he will hand it off to Eli Robertson. Hoover's played some uh, really good defense last few trips down the floor. Definitely, and we see Morris here. They may hold for one 15 seconds left in the first half of game four. Morrison will walk this one around and try to take some time. Morris drives on Collins. Drop pass. Tries to drop it to King, but it's not there. Dean will steal it and go full court with a lob pass down to Brandon Elkins. He will lay it in. Misses it, but Phillip Mullins is there to save the missed layup and tip it back in, putting them down by one going into the half. And so far, so good for both teams here. Yeah, yeah great basketball game. I'm enjoying this one. It's up and down. It's got everything you want inside, outside, good defense. I'm enjoying this one. And I think this will stay the same way until the end of the contest. But right now, we will take a break going into the second half. You are watching the Rock the Island Alumni Tournament on Mountain Dreams Media. Stay tuned. And we are back for the second half of Game 4 in the Willie Akers Arena. The Huskies lead 26-25 to against the Tigers. Grant Bonner will start from the top of the key. Screen for Morris. He rolls out over to Stricker. Stricker out to Robertson. Robertson throws it down to the baseline for Bonner. Bonner pull up jump shot blocked by Saldine, and Saldine will take this full court in transition. Fakes the pass, kicks it over to Shaw for a three just off the rim, tipped out by King and grabbed by Stricker. And great defense by Sal there and a good final show. He just could not get that three to drop. It looked good. It definitely did as Stricker brings it up the front of the court. Over to Robertson. Robertson guarded by Scholl in the ISO. He will kick it out to Bonner. Bonner back out to Morris. Morris drives left side, pulls a three up, and it is a 317 steakhouse three from Cody Morris. Looks like all these boys from Hoover can shoot. We have yet to see King shoot one. Well, I'm curious. Outside of King, they've all hit one. That's what I'm saying. I'm curious to see what he can do outside of the arc. He may surprise you. I've yet to see him leave that low post, though, because the Tigers have the ball. Scholl over to Dean. Dean down in the corner to Elkins. Elkins fakes the three, throws it down low to Collins. A floater from Collins. He is fouled by Chase King. And Collins will shoot two here. Good ball movement right there by the Tigers. They're coming out, still moving it really well. Yeah, they're, they're having good ball movement. And, well, you know, a lot of these guys play together a lot. I think maybe might have took them a little while to get going, but I definitely think they're feeling it now, feeling each other out, and moving the ball well. Four or five of these guys on the same team at once back in high school. Oh, yeah, this, is, this was a uh, really good team in high school. As Collins sinks both free throws, they are down by two. And Morris will inbound into Robertson. Robertson will slow things down here for the Huskies. Robertson, top of the key, screen from Morris. He fakes it, pops out. Morris fakes the shot, steps back on Collins, and it is off the mark and off the top of the shot clock as well. I think he was uh, feeling that one since he just hit the other one. Definitely was Similar feeling that Similar type shot, just didn't go. Not too often around here you see a big man taking shots like that either. You know, nowadays these big men can shoot just about every one of them. The game has changed. As Scholl drives in, kicks out to Elkins for a corner three, rims out, rebound tipped around by both teams. Saldin grabs it and resets for the Tigers. Good long rebound there by Saldin. Definitely. High post for Collins. He kicks it over to Scholl. Scholl fakes the shot, drives in, kicks it out to Elkins. Elkins cross court pass to Dean. Dean will pull this one up off the right side of the rim, tipped around. Both teams getting active for the ball. Elkins pump fakes and goes back up for two. We are tied back at 29 all. Strong pump fake and uh, good layup there by Elkins. Definitely a great move by him there. We'll see Bonner left side of the court guarded by Dean. Bonner kicks it over to Robertson, guarded by Scholl. Robertson will fake the other way from the screen, drive it inside, bring it back out and give it to Morris. Right side wing, he will dribble it to the top of the key. Back to Stricker. Stricker drives around, guarded by Mullins. 
Mullins back to Bonner. Bonner down low to Morris in the high post. Back to Bonner. Bonner will pull this three over Dean, and it is good. A 317 Steakhouse three from Grant Bonner. You know, we went on about the size of Hoover, but it seems like every time Chapman pulls close, they hit a three. Definitely, as Collins misses the floater and a rebound by Morris. And a lot of confidence in this or Huskies team, bro. Mm-hmm. They have a they have a good feel for each other. They play well together. You can tell they've played maybe not high school, but definitely some tournaments before together. And a travel called by Pete Kelly on Morris. I don't know how I feel about that one. Two steps and a pass out. It looked good to me. I'm not sure on that one. I don't really like it either. As we have two players check in for the Huskies, we have Matt Justice and Evan Booth. Philip Mullins cross court past the show on the baseline. He drives, kicks it back out to Dean. Dean shot fakes, kicks it over to Mullins. Mullins drives. Pass over to Scholl in the corner. The three is good. A 317 Steakhouse three oh, from yeah. Andrew Scholl. Man, he was due. He hasn't hit one all night, and he's a good shooter. He is a great shooter. Unstoppable once he crosses that three point line. Any mid range jump Man, shot he shoots is usually good. He is very good at the mid range. As we see the Huskies, Bonner attacks Dean in the low post. Pump fakes out to King for a three that we've waited on, and it is way off the mark from King. Maybe he was off, or maybe he just can't shoot. <laughs> or maybe he's the best shooter on the team and we just don't know. Yeah, but after that one, I don't know if we'll find out. <laughs> As Dean attacks the rim, a floater from Dean is good, and Chapmanville takes the lead back, 34-32. to 32. Very nice floater, and that's a that's a tough shot to stop if someone has it now. Definitely. As Bonner, guarded by Dean, brings it down, gives it up to Booth. Booth in the corner to Morris. Morris brings it back out top. Fakes the top and pulls a three from Morris. 317 Steakhouse three for the Huskies. Man, he can shoot. He can't shoot for a big He's man. He's hit two of his last three now. I'm impressed by him. Elkins with a pull-up jump shot. No good. Chase King with the rebound. Back to Morris. And I think we may see Morris try to pull again here oh, in transition. Yeah. He's uh, I think it's safe to say he's feeling it. Oh, he definitely is. As Bonner guarded by Scholl. He's we'll looking to come off one. screens here and... Great hop step from Bonner. Ooh, great block there by Andrew King, Scholl. But Andrew Scholl rising up on the big man and getting the block, but a steal back from Bonner. Dean chasing him down, and a foul on Sal Dean. A hard foul at that. Yeah, he, he got up there looking for the block, and I think he overcommitted, ran right over top of him. But Dean, a good sport about it, helped Bonner up, and Bonner will shoot two here at the line. Man, this is a good game. It's going to come down to the end, I believe. That's what it looks like. As we have two Tigers and one Husky ready to check into the game after the first free throw. Bonner takes the first, and it bounces around and in. As we see Burry for the Huskies check in, and Browning and Smith check in for the Tigers. Yeah, it looks like uh, Smith is a real scrapper here for Chandler. I think they need that, and Browning is definitely going to help them shooting as well. So Definitely. Smith, always a great defensive player for the Tigers in his past few years. As Bonner shoots the second, it is up and good for the Huskies. And we have another sub for the Huskies. Eli Robertson will check in for Bonner. Man, he's been a joy to watch tonight. He can shoot the ball, and he's just a, a good all-around player. He's got a nice touch on his jump shot. He has played great throughout this game so far. Collins with the ball over to Browning. Browning to Dean. Dean on the right side wing. He brings it back to the top of the key, over to Shoal. Show will drop this into the high post for Devin Collins. Devin Collins drive, fake, kicks out the Browning. He shot fakes, gives it back to Show. Show pump fakes, drives inside, loses on the hop step, and it will be rebounded or grabbed, excuse me, by Burry. Yeah, one of these, uh, one of the Hoovers got a hand on that one. I think he was driving the pass, couldn't quite get it off, Show. And we see another 317 Steakhouse three from Cody Morris, and yeah. he is getting excited here. Three of his last four, and I would say probably. Three of the last six or seven possessions, he's hit a three. And he has let the crowd know about it, too. Yeah, he is feeling it. Sal Dean with a cross side step three, just rims out. Rebound by Morris. He will walk this one up again. Don't and look I now, but the Hoover stretched this lead out to six. And I will not be surprised if he looks the score right here. He attacks, kicks it out for a 317 Steakhouse three from. And yeah, Booth. I was about to say, if I'm Chapman, I'm taking a timeout here. And Hoover has increased their lead to nine. The Tigers will take a timeout. Two minutes left in the third quarter. You are watching the Rock the Alumni Tournament, Rock the Island Alumni Tournament, on Mountain Dreams Media. Stay tuned. We are back for the final two minutes of Game Four. Huskies lead 43 to 34. 
Tigers will inbound. Isaiah Smith on the inbound will be inbounding to Kyle Browning. And Good run will, by Hoover. I'm interested to see how Chapmanville answers back here. And they will let it roll to let that time stay where it is. Browning over to Smith. Smith back over to Browning. Scholl staying in the high post here. Browning over to Smith. Smith will fake a three. Drive kick over to Browning for a three. Mm. Just rims out. And Smith battling down low. Blocked by Morris. Morris will grab the rebound. Getting hounded by the Tigers. Sal Dean with the steal on the jump pass. And Dean will drive. Kick over to Collins for a wide open. 3-17 Steakhouse three. That's a good shot. And a good steal by Sal Dean there. And get it right back to Devin Collins in the corner. And it definitely felt like that one was going in. Yeah. If, if they, he would have missed that, I would have been shocked, to be honest with you. As we see, the Huskies come down to a set offense. We have Cody Morris with the ball, guarded by Collins. Another step back hmm. as Morris falls just off the mark, rebound by Dean. And you just felt like that was going to go in. After everything he's made, I would not have been shocked. As Shaw swings it to another corner, 3-17. Steakhouse three from Devin Collins, and he is heating up here don't, in the Willie Akers Arena. Don't look now. Don't let him get hot. Definitely right. not. He and can they, shoot it. They definitely cut this lead right back to where it was as Eli Robertson tries to work Smith around here. Pass out for a three just off the mark from Matt Justice. Yeah, they've cut this lead quick out of the timeout. And the Huskies will hold this Collins. one here. Robertson on the drive, step back, shot fakes, pulls up a midi over top of Collins. It is good. That might be his first shot since early first that he's made. Been kind of quiet since then. Definitely has, but Morris has definitely answered for him as Devin Collins on a pull-up 317 yeah. Steakhouse 3. He's hot now. Three in a row for Devin Collins, and he has found his groove, and he's cut. they've cut this lead from yeah. what? Nine. Eight, nine? Nine to uh, two. Very impressive from Collins. Three in a row for the Tigers. All three. Yeah, but he's feeling it. And the Huskies are definitely going to try to hold this for, for one as Morris hands it off to Robertson. Robertson drives all the way in, throws it up, and they are going to call a blocking foul. On the Tigers. Looked like one ref was going to call a charge, and the underneath ref calls a block. We've had a lot of that tonight. I think they're discussing it now. Sean, Steen, or Sean Clark seems to be holding his own. He yep. believes that was a blocking foul, and that will be the call. Yep. Tigers fans upset with the call. Which, if you are a fan, can't really blame you. No, no. And Eli Robertson will go to the line for two shots. First shot is up and off the right side. Yep. Well, this game's going to go down to the wire for sure. I agree. Three seconds left in the third quarter. Robertson sets up for his second free throw. It is up and good. Three-point lead for the Huskies as the Tigers inbound. Dean gets it, throws it up to Collins. Collins will heave it from half court and Ooh. just off the back of the rim. Now, if he would have made that, it's been really hot. It's just them, close. The basketball gods are watching. Oh, yeah. But as that comes to an end, I will say this one more time for the final game of the night. Elim ending coming up in the fourth quarter. Whoever's leading... At the first dead ball of the final four minutes, the score will be added up to eight, and the first team to reach that score will win the game. You are watching Rock the, Rock the Island Alumni Tournament here on Mountain Dreams Media. Stay tuned. Kyle Browning will dribble it back out, kick it up top to Devin Collins. Devin Collins will fake the shot and slow things down here, getting double teamed. Shaw in the mid-range. Back over to Elkins. Elkins back out to Collins, mm. just off the Heat back of the rim. There. Heat check there. Elkins drives in, no call, be and it ball. is tipped by Robertson. It will be the Tigers basketball. And a little bit of chatter here inside the arena. Shaw pull up mid-range. Oh. He caught Stricker lacking with a wide open right there. Man, I thought that rolled in, and as soon as it went to roll in, it rolled right back out. Looks like we're going to have Sal Dean check in here. He's at the scorer's table. And... Grant Bonner, top of the key with the ball. Putting some moves on Browning. Drop past the King. King grabs it back up and in. Huskies take a four-point lead with 6.27 to go. He is uh, carrying him here. Four, four straight points for him. Hard to stop down there. We will see Browning with the ball. Kick it into Shoal. Over to Elkins. Over to Collins in the corner. Collins, double-teamed. Gets it back out to Elkins. Elkins, cross-court path to Browning. 
Browning to Mullins. Down low to Shaw. Great ball move from the Tigers and a mm. tough layup just rims out from Shaw. He is fouled. He will take two here at the line. Yeah, that's really good ball movement by the Tigers there. Just almost had the end one, but he's going to go to line for two. And earlier in that play, he was wide open for the mid-range jump shot, but kicked it out. I'm shocked he passed yeah, that one up. He's a uh, – man, he's deadly for mid-range. And the first free throw rolls off the back of the rim and out. He's in disbelief. You can't believe it. I'm in disbelief. <laughs> shocked that one came out. We will see Saldine check in for Kyle Browning. As Shoal second is up and in. Three-point lead for the Huskies. Chase King will inbound to Bonner. And we will see Saldin pick him up full court. And yeah. we will probably see that for the remainder mm-hmm. of the game here. I would say this uh, intensity is definitely going to pick up here. A lot harder defense is going to be played. Bonner kicks the king in the corner. King. Wait, waiting on him to shoot that. Definitely. Definitely waiting for the shot. And we will see Morris with the ball. We have learned he is deadly from the top of the key. Man, he's As hit some good shots tonight. King will attack this post. Very strong up and in. Such an asset down there. Yeah. So hard to stop. Six straight. He's playing uh, bully ball down there right now. And Elkins pass to Shaw. Tip almost grabbed by Robertson, but it will be out of bounds. Shaw will inbound. As Chase Berry will check in for Brandon Elkins. And that was the uh, size difference we was really talking about earlier. It's really came to play here in the, in the fourth. And I think they'll continue to go and attack the paint here with King as he's playing very well in this later half. Chase Berry kicks it out to Collins for a deep 317 Snakehouse three. And that is his sixth of the night in total. Man, he is really feeling it right now. And that was a big three to get them back within two. 18 points from Devin Collins from the arc so far in this game. As Morris at the top of the key drives, spins, kicks it over to the corner, and he will <laughs> throw it out of bounds. Bonner could not get to it. It will be Tiger basketball. Threw it away there. It's a good opportunity here for Champville to, you know, tie it or take the lead. I wouldn't be surprised with another Devin Collins three. And I will I will go out and say it on a limb. The Tug Valley and Scott game was amazing, but I, so far this might be the best game of the night. Up and down, constant um, competitiveness. I think uh, I think there was a big lead there at one point in the Scott Tug game, and this one has been constant close. Constantly hasn't, close. Hasn't left single digits yet. No. Been back and forth, lead changes. Missed three by Dean. Tipped out. Mullen saves it, but it's going to be a full court pass from... Cody Morris, what a pass there, what a pass. Up to Robertson for a two, and they will go back up by four. Shaw will shot fake, kick out to Dean. Dean, cross court to Barry. Barry will take his first shot of the night, and it is up and off the side of the rim. Rebound by King. Robertson wants to slow this one down, as well does Morris, and we will see Dean picking up full court. I'd say they'll hold this here for until it gets to the four-minute mark and uh, probably hit this target score of 61. And the Husky smart. Very smart to try to get that ball away from Dean. Very great defensive player. A foul on him trying to get the double-team steal from Morris. Browning will check back in for Chase Berry. Four minutes left, or four minutes and 13 seconds left. We're closing in on that Elim dead ball. Robertson will bring it into the backcourt and try to run some of this clock off. Being guarded full court by Dean. Dean does not want to foul. Here comes the double team. Robertson behind the back pass to Morris. Morris will hold and call a timeout. Now, a lot of teams have done that when they're up, but right now I wouldn't have called it right there. I would have let some of that time run out and try to get a bucket. Well. You could get another basket right there, increase your lead, and then increase the Elam score, potentially. Well, the time's not going to matter. True, but the points could have. Points could have mattered. I think they just wanted to take the timeout, get set, say, you know, this is our target score of 62. Let's let's get some points here and not let them get in the group. Which is the official ELIM target score here in game four between the Huskies and the Tigers. First team to reach 62 will be declared the winner. It will be Huskies ball coming out of the inbound in the timeout as the teams take the floor. Both teams coming out here with their starting lineups. And we will see Stricker inbound for the Huskies. I think for Hoover, I'm looking to throw it inside the hill. And then for Chapman, I'm looking to get uh, Collins open. And Stricker inbounds the King. May have stepped out of bounds right there. Yeah, I, th- I think he might have got away with it. But no call. Bonner will fake, drive all the way on Shoy. Nice layup from Bonner right there. And they only need six now. Six for the Huskies, 12 for the Tigers. Shaw will walk this one down, throw it over to Collins. Collins over to Dean. In the corner to Mullins. Mullins will drive, 
cross court pass to Scholl. Scholl will take the three off the front of the rim. Rebound by King, and King will give this up to Bonner. Let's see how uh, they make any defensive changes here. The and they're going to start doubling into Morris. I definitely see the Huskies going for a low post play here and just trying to get a quick two. Yep. But we're going to see Stricker fake the three. Robertson with the ball, left side wing. He fakes left, takes the screen, pick and pop from Morris. Over to the corner for Bonner. And a corner three from Bonner. 3-17, Steakhouse three will increase that lead to nine. Three points for the Huskies to win this ball game. Man, I would like to know how many threes they have hit tonight. Too many. As Shaw kicks the Devin Collins for a deep 3-17, Steakhouse three fading away. Now a three will win in here for uh, Hoover. I like to see Chattanooga tighten up. Their defense here. And Bonner is hot, but I do have a feeling it's going to be Robertson or Morris that takes this shot. As they're running their normal pick and pop, Robertson looks like he wants it, gives it up to Morris. Morris a little bit of a size advantage. He will step back. He, he wants that it. three. He wanted it. He wanted it bad. Stricker will give it up to Robertson. Robertson guarded by Dean. Robertson screen from King. Pull up from Robertson. Will end the game four. And your winner, the Herbert Hoover Huskies with a tough shot. 317 Steakhouse 3 from Eli Robertson. Tell you what, that is a uh, this is a tough Herbert Hoover team. I think they're going to be a tough out, whoever they play. And they will play Mingo Central tomorrow in game six at 215 in the Willie Acres Arena. We are going to take a quick break and be right back to talk to you about the tournament. Here on Mountain Dreams Media, you are watching the Rock the Island Alumni Tournament. Stay tuned. 